Okay, bye Ellie. I'm gonna go to the thrift store, okay? And I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, we have an interesting situation today as my daughter's car wouldn't start. So I have to take Grace to work. I have to be back at her work. I mean, I don't have to, but I'm being nice to pick her up for her break, take her out to lunch, and then I'll have to get her at the end of the day. So I need to kind of plan my day around that. I'm gonna take you guys with me thrifting. Okay, some kind of stabilizer for my car, for my camera, because I want to just like put it up in the dash while I'm driving. Don't worry, I'm not being unsafe. I'm watching the road. Anyway, I'm gonna take you guys with me thrifting to probably a couple stores in Papillion, which is like a little suburb of the Omaha area. Um, I haven't been to these stores. I didn't actually go last week. Usually I go to every store once a week, but I didn't end up going to either of them last week. So we'll see how that goes, if it proves to be good. And I'll take you guys in there with me. Okay, going to the shoe section as always. First, I do pick up Brooks sometimes, but these are just like a little too worn. These are Nike, I think Golf. I don't think those do that good. I had men's Cole Haan boots once and they freaking took forever to sell. So I'm not really wanting to get those. I don't know what those are. Allen Edmonds, I like to look for in the dress shoes. But those are not it. These are just some cheapo brand. Here's some Hoka's. Let's look at the condition of these. First of all, they're $9.99. Condition in the bottom is okay. Um, there's not any wear like. I'd like to look in this back part right here and there's not really much wear there. And then I'd like to look at the size to see like See, that's like pretty worn. I don't think I'm gonna get those for $10 just because I feel like they're so worn, but look at these little cute baby shoes with Hello Kitty charms. Oh, those are so cute. Look at these tiny little boots. Okay, are these Birkenstocks? Oh, nope, White Mountain Footbed. Oh, here's some Keens for $7.99, so I'll probably grab those. I'll at least look them up. That brand does not sell very good for me. This store is pretty small compared to some of the other locations that I go to, but we will see what I can find. There's also no new cards out yet. I'm filming this Monday morning when they change over to the new color tag. So, those are weird. Um, we'll see if they bring any out while I'm here. When I've come to the store before, they don't bring out as much new stuff as some of the other locations. So, I don't know, I don't have like really high hopes about that. What are those? These are just Target. A lot of time for the, like, nicer athletic brands. The logo from the bottom left leg or like a shirt from the bottom or back left. So anyway, I see some new with tags American Eagle that I'm probably not going to get. Yeah, there's two of them. Um, the leopard jeggings for $10. No, thank you. Raphael, I don't know where that's sold. Gloria Vanderbilt. I think this is just holes. This store is like okay for me. Sometimes I find good stuff, but I don't ever like count on it. <laughs> but I still want to pop in because you just never know. Is that like an online brand? Yee Leap. Okay, let's see what else. The Peloton? I think I used to be able to sell some Peloton stuff, but not lately. Not Zaya anymore either. Okay, I found these Free People Movement joggers. These are called the Shadow Boxer. I got them because they're a size large and they were selling around 25 to 30. Um, there's a couple little like snags that I should be able to just sweater shave those off. And then in the women's section, these have been here for over a week. 
these are some Lululemon pants. I think men's. I'll check for a size dot. I could tell because of that snap. <laughs> and then the logo is right back here. So $9.99 for those. So that's good. We'll see about the size dot. I don't know if I can find it on camera. Okay, I can't find a size dot anywhere, so I need to like look more when I'm home or something, but I'm definitely grabbing them. If they're women's, I'll sell them. If they're men's, I'll give them to my brother. Okay, this is not good. The employees are literally just like walking around organizing stuff on the shelves. Like, I don't see anything in the back like action coming out so I'll just try to keep going through the racks I'm not gonna stay around to wait if it comes out while I'm here that's great if not I'll just leave and go on to the next store haven't found anything else yet after those blue lemon pants so we will keep searching because those pants were a yellow tag last week was blue uh, I wish these were small tall. If you guys have any small tall stuff for sale or a size 6 tall, please let me know. Because if it's cheap enough, I might buy it from you. Um, that's just fabrics. Not what we're looking for. Alright, let's see what else in this pants section. Okay, I'm going to try to show you comps while I'm in the store instead of popping them up in the screen for this one. So here's those free people movement joggers $29 on Poshmark here are the can shoes they sold for $29.99 on eBay and remember these are not my sales these are what other people have sold them for also they're starting to bring out some new small carts so we'll see okay so I did get some new shoes off that rack or not new but some shoes off that rack to sell so we're gonna look these up red converse joker converse Vintage Nike shocks and some on clouds. Okay, for these I paid $7.99. I almost always sell them for like $35, and that's what these ones sold for $34. So let's check the other ones. These Converse, the Joker ones I paid $9.99. Found a sold comp for $41.99 on eBay. Oops, I didn't mean to push sell one like this. So, definitely grabbing those. Okay, for these Nike shocks, I paid $9.99. This is definitely like a vintage or like Y2K style, but comps are great. There's one pair here that sold for $99.99. And then these ones that are like mine too, $109. There's $89. So, yes, getting those. Let's check the on cloud. Okay, these are a little bit more at $19.99. But I think they'll still be worth it. They're men's on cloud surfers. I see them selling here for $60 and $71. So I'll probably just price around $70 um, and then hope to get $60 or so. Maybe I'll price actually a little bit higher because um, they're in pretty good condition. All right, let's look through the pants some more. Okay, actually, I'm going to go through the jeans. I finished up at the pants and didn't really find anything. I'm not really picking up that brand anymore. I just listed a pair, but only because they were from Ryan's bin. If you're new here, Ryan is my son. He's 16. He used to resell, but he decided he'd rather have a job out of the house. And I have been slowly buying his old inventory for $2 each. Listing some of it, sending some of it to spread up. But the other day, I had to stay home with Ellie, our dog. She was kind of sick. And I needed inventory, so... I was able to just pull stuff out of there. So not the best stuff, some of it was some like things I had to list lower, but it was better than not listing at all. I really think it's important to list every day. So yeah, we'll see if we can find any jeans here. Not seeing anything good so far. Let's see what's in the short section this weekend. I had like Saturday was okay, but then Sunday, eBay started like popping off and I had some amazing sales. I sold a couple pairs of Abercrombie and Fitch shorts this weekend and one pair of AG, Adriana Goldschmidt. So 
so this is the American Evil font I like to look for, but I feel like these were cut from, I don't know, something. Maybe this recipe is from Bermuda Shorts. Either way, that's not the style that I'm looking for that sells that good for me. So this is kids, size 14. Apparently they didn't figure that out. So we will see if I can have any shorts here at this location. Oh, there's Buff Bunny. That's an athletic brand. I haven't sold that in a while. That's what the logo looks like. They're like tiny, tiny. But I might look them up. Um, they're $5. Let's see. Okay, I couldn't even find those shorts online. Like, I looked up bike shorts, spandex shorts, and then when I found some, like, Buff Bunny shorts, they just weren't selling that good. Okay, I think sometimes Jordan stuff can sell decent. This might be a men's. I'm going to look it up, um, and we will see. If it's men's and it's good, although it's $10, I don't know what my brother would think about that because he pays me even a, a little bit more. Um, kind of like a commission for finding stuff. So I don't know. It'd have to be selling for a decent amount for him, I think, to want to pay it that much. So I'll look it up once I get done with this little section. Um, I had somebody ask me why I pass up North Face so much, but that's because almost every time I look it up or try to sell it for most things, it's really oversaturated and it doesn't do that good. Like, I responded, like, I literally just sold a pair of North Face hiking pants for like $13 and I've had them for like nine months. So that's not really something I want to be doing. It's a cute Colorado sweatshirt, but I don't know. If, I don't know. That'd be hard to sell without like a brand. Okay, let me look up that Jordan sweatshirt. Okay, I looked up the number and it didn't bring anything up. Do you guys think like this could be faked? Here, let me show you the tag again. Um, the number didn't bring anything up. Google Lens didn't bring anything up. So since it's $10, I'm not going to chance it. I'm just going to leave it behind. Okay, I can see that they have some new clothing racks back there. They just haven't brought them out yet. So we're going to hope they are soon. This is soft surroundings, but it's in a size medium and it's nothing special. I'm trying to only get it with really, like, substantial pieces. Um, or some plus size does good, but I have to be careful because I've been sitting on a lot of it. So I'm going to leave that one behind. Express. I don't even know what this is. It's probably just vintage. Rob Winter. It's kind of cute though, but that would be a no because it's not really a known brand. It's not even winter time right now, so the chances of me selling it are not good. I'm going to be really listening for those new racks to come out. I don't think there's any other resellers in here. I saw this one guy walking around with a golf club, but not looking for the same stuff as me besides that there isn't, so hoping that I can get them first and grab some good stuff, if there is anything. Okay, the new rack came out, went through it, nothing good, sadly, so keep looking through these few more racks. Okay, there's another new cart with maybe shoes in person, so I'm going to check it out and see. Okay, there was nothing in that new car. I saw somebody in front of me take out some boots, but I couldn't tell what the brand was, so I'm just finishing. This is like, actually hilarious. What is this? Okay, well, that's funny. Anyway, I'm finishing up in the t-shirts, and then I'm going to look through the dresses, and then that's it, and then I'm picking up some pants. I have a fellow reseller that I follow on TikTok that lives around here. We've talked a couple of times, and she found some old navy, small, tall, flare pants. That's interesting. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like it's worth getting. Anyway, so she's going to sell them to me for $25, which is a great deal because I definitely need some. So I'm heading to pick those up after this, and then I'll probably still have time to go to one more store before I have to go get Grace from her break. And we are going to go out to lunch. I don't know where yet. She really likes Runza. <laughs> so we might go to Runza. Okay. Um, fat face. I did sell a maxi dress by them recently for around $25 to 30 
I would look up their items. Some stuff sells good, some doesn't. Um, Old Navy, I actually just sold a maxi dress for 18. I know it's not a ton, but I like never pick up Old Navy. And I was watching Kaylee Aline and she talked about some of the plus sizes can actually do decent. I think I could have got a little more for it, but I was trying to accept like basically every offer this weekend. Okay, I didn't find anything in the dress section. I'm gonna take a quick peek through the swimsuits and then I'm gonna go to the next door. There's some people like literally buying, I feel like every bike. So, <laughs> oops, sorry for the Disney music. Anyway, <laughs> maybe they're gonna resell. Okay, so that store was like, okay. I got more shoes than clothes, so that's great. I'm gonna try to show you just on this trip, like what I'm picking up, the comps, while I'm in the store. And then that way you guys can kind of see like what stuff is gonna sell for. I'm gonna go pick up those pants. They're actually Athleta, not Old Navy. I wouldn't pay $25 for used Old Navy. So they're the Athleta, I think, Venice flare pants. They're super cute. So I'm gonna grab those and then we'll head to one more store. Okay, I have my apple trash. I've been trying to bring like fruits or vegetables to eat for a snack every time I'm on the way to the thrift store. Sometimes like, okay, it doesn't taste that good, but if you just like don't think about it. <laughs> like sometimes it does, like that was a good apple. So like sometimes when you eat healthy, you just do it because you know it's good for you. Um, okay, let's see how this store is. I'll, I won't talk about that anymore in this video. It looks decently busy, so we'll see what I can do film-wise, but nobody's over here at the shoe section. These look interesting, but what are they? You guys heard of this? Does that say data win? I'm gonna look them up, but it says made in China. Oh, there's a new with, they're new with tags. I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to look them up. Let's see, I guess. Okay, just like I thought, not good selling for 10. 16, 10, new with tags. So we're gonna leave those behind. These boots look like they were maybe quality. Okay, they're Franco Sardo, which is actually kind of expensive, but I have never had luck selling that brand. So I am going to pass. I'm really trying to find like stuff that'll sell better in the spring, summer, like sandals or even like sneakers, but I'm like, the boots are gonna have to be really good. If I pick them up, this could be like, uh, sometimes the vintage guest purses are selling kind of decent for like the Y2K style, but it seems like they do better when they're like skinnier rectangle style. So let's keep looking through the shoes and seeing if there's anything here worth it. I never sell kids. They do not sell good, at least that's my opinion. These look like they're trying to be like those popular Dior sandals. I found fakes of those once. Um, there's some Jordan sneakers for $6. There are youth, I don't know. I'm just like not good at like sneaker kind of stuff. Uh, I, I would just rather not, I don't know. I feel like sometimes I'm like, oh, these will probably be good and I took them home and they weren't. So I kind of like, don't want that to happen again. Um, okay, let's see what's over here. I think that brand's actually like decently expensive, but it doesn't sell good. There's no new racks out here at this location yet. So we will see. Oh, here's some Keen. Okay, so see these, I feel like it's some things that I would pick up. They're $20 though, so I'm gonna make sure. But I feel like that's like a really good shoe that's worth picking up even in the off season. So, we're definitely looking those up. Those are fake leather. After a while, you can like spot fake leather. Leather, I mean, or you can really tell like right away when you feel it. Okay, I'm gonna look up the keys. Furniture tag, it's 50% off today. Let them finish their sale thing. Okay, here's some that sold for 55 on Poshmark. Um, and 30, so let me check on eBay. Okay, I didn't find any on eBay, but I feel like that I can, I don't know, they're $20. Like the one sold for 55, but I feel like if I like 
can just hold off until fall winter. Like I think I can get like 50 to 60 bucks and I'm okay with paying $20 for that. So I don't know. What would you guys do? eBay it didn't show any, but probably because it only shows the last 90 days and hardly anybody's buying boots the last 90 days. I think I'm gonna get them because I feel like they're super nice. Okay, I found some men's hokas at the store. These ones are in better condition. They're $9.99. So I'm going to check and see what comps are in these and if I want to pick them up. Okay, these sold for $42.95 on eBay in March. So I think I'm going to get them. I like selling men's sneakers and hokas are still selling pretty good for me. Okay, we're in the short section here. Um, I got the two shoes so far. So we will see. Again, this is a store I haven't been to for two weeks. So I'm going to look through everything, which I usually do anyway, but like every once in a while if I'm rushed on time, I just like might try to scan more for the new color tags since I know I was there the week before. But sometimes I feel like stuff is still out there and I was like, I should have seen that last time and so I don't know. Usually I try to check through everything. Again, unless I'm like really rushed. Okay, I don't know about Democracy Shorts, how they do. I sold them new with Tag Pair, but those are around well, five. Maybe if they were plus size, I might think about it. But I'm not gonna grab those for now. Okay, no way is this person picking up this shirt. <laughs> I don't wanna like make it super obvious. It's like the classic shirts you see at the thrift store. Land of the Free, like with the eagle on it. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, anyway, I got these Democracy Size 16 Ab Technology. They're like a gray-blue color. I just sold a pair, so I'll find a picture of comps. Okay, here's the ones that I sold. It shows 35 because they were sold, I think, in a bundle. Um, but it's like almost the same one. Yeah, I think it's the exact same ones, just in a size... 12 and mine are a 16. I'm just gonna say 28 because yeah, that's usually I feel like what I sell them with a 20% off offer. So glad to find those. See if there's anything else here in this section. The store is like a little busier. I'm still trying not to like worry too much, but if somebody's right next to me, it's for real awkward. <laughs> Sorry, but it is. This was a store where I found blue lemon leggings once recently, and I thought they were fake and they're just new with a different tag and I was so mad at myself. Everybody's freaking like spamming my Instagram and they're like, they're not. Okay, let me check out these Athleta because they're not leggings, they're altitude lined pants. They have this like ruching detail. So I'm going to check those out. Okay, I don't know about these. Some of them are selling decent but then some aren't. Like 24, 30... They took an offer, 20, 40, 28, 35. I feel like I might risk it because I feel like it's a good size and like a cute style. And I think I can use the right keywords to at least get 25 or 30 out of them. Hoping for my like 30, I'll probably list them for 35. So I'm going to grab these. Okay, the guy put back the land of the free shirt. <laughs> but I'm serious, you like see that literally everywhere. I'm like, where did those come from? Like, who actually originally makes those. Okay, Fabletics. This is just like all the pants besides the jeans, basically. That's like old house oh, friend. And not in a good way. Okay, American Eagle. I would like to find some more athletic pants. That would be great. But we shall see. These feel decent quality, but I don't remember what that is, but it's not good. Uh, Fatletics. These are Old Navy. Are those like CRZ yoga? I used to say here, John, but not anymore. The value in that. Okay, here's figs, but I'm not getting them. My figs lately, and these are just like a straight leg style. My figs have been sitting. Okay, that's weird. And <laughs> selling for like $15, $17. And I'd, I'd just rather not. I don't know. Um, nothing that's not that exciting for me to pick up. Okay, here's some little low jeans, but I'm not going to get them. They're a size 26, which doesn't do good, and there's like buckering. 
I try to get it in like 30 or 32 or like larger than that obviously but like 26 that's too small that doesn't really do good for that brand and that's the only thing that does good in that brand those are old Joe's jeans they're a flare style but still you don't really hardly ever sell that unless it happens to be good I would not get those too small and it just says legging these ones do say ab technology, but again, the size 6 is not going to do as good. Okay, I'm getting like extra large sweaters and shirts. I found a couple things that were like kind of maybe, but sometimes I can sell these like pullovers for pretty decent. It's a size extra large. It is $5.99. Probably more like a men's though, so I might look it up. Um, I don't know if my brother would sell this. I feel like he likes to sell, unless it's like super, super good vintage, like he likes to sell things that are in like new condition. So I'll just look it up and see like if I decide to sell it, how much those are going for. Um, haven't sold that like style in a little bit, so it will be worth looking up. Okay, I don't know, here's three in a row. One sold for, that's a cable knit, so that's different. This one sold for 25, this one sold for 40. If I could get like in the middle, that one sold for 45. 25, 33, I think I might try to get it. I think it's a good style, in like a classic style. Okay, here comes a new rack, so I'm gonna check this out. Oh shoot, I dropped my freaking phone. For some reason, they're taking them and they're putting them they usually put them like right here. They're putting them back there. So, I don't know. I'm gonna go see. Okay, there's nothing in that new rack. I did get this little like just decoration for my house. So, off of a top shelf. So, let's see about this stuff. There was some cute like Disney stuff on the new rack, but it wasn't like good Disney. It was like Walmart Disney. So, it could have been like if I want some for myself, but. I don't hardly pick up. I don't even look for maternity. Do you guys? I know like Hatch is a good brand, but besides that, no clue. Maybe I should, but I feel like every time I do, I don't find anything. So I don't know if I should like just keep trying or what. Okay, I found this Free People Yellow shirt. It's very like gauzy. Could be cute for spring summer. So I'm gonna look up and see what they're going for. This is where I found that liquid blue shirt a little while back. It has been getting attention, but it hasn't sold yet, which I kind of do not expect that to sell quickly, just because of how expensive it is listed for. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and look up this Free People top, see if I think it's worth it, and I'll let you guys know. Okay, I looked up by the OB number, I did Google and I did my own search, and I could not freaking find that top anywhere. And I found a stain. It's a size medium. If it was a large or extra large, I probably would have got it and tried to get a stain, but since it was a medium, I just decided to put it back, and since I couldn't find, like, actual sold comps, so we'll see if I can find anything else. Okay, size small, long sleeves. I sold... I've sold some of these teddy sweaters before, like in larger sizes, and they just do okay, I think around like $20, so I'm not going to grab that. I hope you pick up anything Columbia. Hey, here's a small towel. I thought oh, it's just a shirt though. I don't really want that. I'm looking for pants, because I can find shirts easy. Sometimes it is nice to have the tall the shirts, like, but my legs are what's more long, not my torso. Sometimes it's nice for like the sleeves, like I can tell sometimes the sleeves are too short and like regular stuff. And then Republic, Victoria's Secret Pink, I like I barely get. Okay, I'm gonna look through the short sleeves and I think that'll be it for this. They brought out another new rack, but it was bad. The clothes they've been bringing out have been so ugly <laughs> and trash, so I think this is all I'm going to get at the store today. Hey, wait! <laughs> Look what I just found like randomly up on the top. These Mark by Mark Jacobs sunglasses. Are these worth anything? They're $3.99. Okay, that was random. They were just like right up there. 
I'm gonna look these up before I leave, I guess. Okay, I can't find the exact style with like the numbers or a quick search, but some are selling for like 49, 67. These are Marc Jacobs. I put in Mark Mark Jacobs, so maybe I need to put buy. If I can do that while I'm filming, which is apparently not with my left hand. Let's see what that brings up. See, that's totally different. Look, 9, 8, 15. Okay, some people were coming. So anyway, I'm not getting those. If they were regular Marc Jacobs, I think they'd be worth it. But since they're not, we're gonna pass. That mirror is so cute. But I don't know what I'd do with it. Okay, so I think that is gonna be it for this video. I do have a decent amount of stuff to do. I didn't get any of my pictures or anything done. Since I have to go back into Counts of Bluffs and pick up my daughter, I went out of my normal routine of getting done my pictures and listings in the morning. So um, I'm gonna get that done this afternoon, take her out to lunch. I gotta give my dog a bath, make dinner. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know your feedback down below and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.